Thanks. We are definitely um, a modern family. We are. We're doing really well. Thank you. So you mm -hmm. will have the it's baby clear. forever. Yes, and forever and ever. Well, it looks like Jennifer Garner is off the dating market once again, as the latest news is her engagement to John Miller. This announcement has got a lot of people talking, of course. After Jennifer Garner revealed her relationship with long-term boyfriend John Miller, fans can't help comparing Jennifer Garner's new relationship with John Miller to her past relationship with ex-husband Ben Affleck. Is this better or worse? In this video, we'll be talking about everything you need to know about Jennifer Garner's relationship history up until meeting John Miller and what the future looks like for the couple. If you're ready to hear all the details about this shocking news, then you're in the right place. So be sure to stick around until the end because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. Let us begin. Number four, Jennifer Garner's relationship timeline. Jennifer Garner has experienced a lot of success in her career, especially with four consecutive nominations as the most outstanding leading actress in a series at the Emmy Awards show. She then won the Golden Globe for the same category. Not only has Jennifer Garner had success in her career, but she has also found love in the hands of wealthy and successful bachelors. Over the last few years, Jennifer Garner's life has been linked romantically to successful businessmen and famous actors. The Daredevil actress's first publicly known relationship was with Scott Foley. The two first met during their time on set, where they both starred in a TV show called Felicity in 1998. A year later, they began dating, and in 2000 they tied the knot in what everyone expected to be a long and happy relationship. Sadly, this relationship did not go on for long. Just four years later, the couple divorced officially in 2003. There were a lot of rumors surrounding why the couple had to call it quits, but the biggest truth was that they were not willing to continue with the relationship anymore. Later that same year, Jennifer Garner met Michael Varden, and they started dating in 2003. Their first meeting was when they co-starred in an action series called Alias. Michael Varden, in an interview, said that he and Jennifer Garner started as friends, which later led to something deeper. According to Us Magazine, Jennifer Garner's representative confirmed to Us Weekly that the alias actress with Michael Varden's love life didn't end on the screen and that they are actually in a real-life relationship. This was in August 2003, but by 2004, their romantic relationship was over. Still, series fans found no reason for the couple's sudden separation. But the ex-couple assured their fans that although they had broken up, they would continue being friends. The ex-couple proved their point by wishing each other on their birthday. So far, the pair has remained cordial with each other, and we believe that their friendship remains on a great level. Number 3. Jennifer Garner Hooks Up With Ben Affleck just a year after her relationship with Michael Varden ended, Jennifer Garner went into a relationship with Ben Affleck. This was also a year after Batman actor called off his engagement with actress Jennifer Lopez. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner started dating in 2004. However, they met for the first time during the set of Pearl Harbor in 2001 and later for Daredevil in 2003. During the Pearl Harbor set in 2001, Jennifer Garner, at the same time, was still married to her ex-husband, Scott Foley. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner later met again for a second time while shooting for their role in the comic movie Daredevil in 2002. At that time, Ben Affleck was engaged to Jennifer Lopez. He later broke up his relationship with Jennifer Lopez in 2004, citing the media frenzy surrounding their relationship. After Ben Affleck separated from the Jersey Girl actress, he began his relationship with Jennifer Garner. The couple made their relationship public in 2004 and married in 2005. A month after the couple's marriage, they welcomed their first child together, a baby girl named Violet. Their second child, Serafina, came in 2009, and their last child, a boy named Samuel, came in 2012. The couple and their kids lived happily together, but even this great relationship wasn't safe from the hammer of divorce. 
Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck broke up in June 2015 and finalized their divorce in 2017. The rumor about the couple's sudden split from each other was that they divorced after Ben Affleck abandoned the family's vacation trip and he was suspected to have been dating their nanny, Christine Ozunian, whom he took to Las Vegas instead of the family vacation. Jennifer Garner was shocked when she heard the rumor months after the divorce from Ben Affleck. She explained that the couple's divorce was not because Ben Affleck had an affair with the nanny. Instead, Jennifer Garner explained that both couples divorced based on a mutual understanding. Jennifer Garner even stated that although they are no longer together, she still respects Ben Affleck, and they both perform their duties as co-parents to their kids. Number 2. John Miller's Relationship Timeline After Jennifer Garner finalized her divorce from her ex-husband Ben Affleck in April 2018, a source said she began having an on-and-off relationship with John Miller, the CEO and chairman of Cali Group and Cali Burger, starting in April 2018. John Miller is a successful American businessman who studied economics at the University of Redland and then attended law school at Stanford, where he received his degree as an attorney. He married violinist Caroline Campbell in 2005 and 2011. The couple got back together in 2012, February, but still, things didn't work out. They got divorced again for the second time in 2014. Before the couple finally broke up, they had two kids, a son, Quest, and a daughter, Violet. After the divorce, the ex-couple both agreed to share joint custody of the kids. After John Miller's official divorce from his ex-wife, Caroline Campbell, he met Jennifer Garner, and they've been dating since 2018. During Jennifer Garner's first meeting with John Miller, she mentioned in an interview that she was immediately attracted to John Miller because of his reluctance to live the life of a celebrity. She said she was impressed by how John Miller only wanted to spend his everyday life with her without making it known on social media. During their beautiful and calm relationship, Jennifer Garner and John Miller went on romantic trips together. They spent quality time at home while enjoying each other's company. In one interview, the Catch Me If You Can actress gave a breakdown of her first time knowing John Miller. She said she was happy to know such an intelligent, warm, incredible, funny guy. Number 1. The Engagement with John Miller According to a source, Jennifer Garner and John Miller's first time together ended in 2020. The rumor about the couple's split was that Jennifer Garner had a commitment issue stating that John Miller was ready to settle down and he wanted them to get married, but she wasn't prepared. This resulted in the couple taking a brief break from each other. A year after the couple went on a hiatus, rumors spread that Jennifer Garner was spotted going on a date with Bradley Cooper. However, friends of the pair made it known that these two are not dating and were just close friends. The following year, Jennifer Garner and John Miller started where they stopped. They said they have worked out their differences and were back together again. The couple started making headlines a few months after they mended fences, and this was because Jennifer Garner was spotted wearing what many believe to be an engagement ring on her finger. After the rumor spread, Jennifer Garner never came out to deny or confirm whether the rumor was genuine or false, just some false alarm. Fans claimed they would not be shocked if the couple finally tied the knot, and the signs all pointed to the possibility that the pair would be together for a long time. Not only are their fans supporting their relationship, but their friends could also not help showing support for the couple. One of Jennifer Garner's friends mentioned that their friend was finally happy to have met a nice guy like John Miller. Most of Jennifer Garner's friends believe John Miller was perfect for her because of the business mogul's love and care for the movie star. And from their point of view, they saw John Miller as a positive and steady influence in Jennifer Garner's life. While some couples prefer their love life to be in the spotlight, Jennifer Garner and John Miller choose to live a low-key and happy life together. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Do you think John Miller and Jennifer Garner's relationship has what it takes to stand the test of time? You can let us know what you think in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy the others we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button 
and hit the subscribe button to get up to date on all our amazing videos. And hit the notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Check out this related video to see more. I'll see you in the next video.